Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from my color screen. If you truly enjoy customizing your Android phone, but don't exactly know what to do, then you've definitely come to the right place, as I'll be showing you a very simple setup for your Android home screen. Let us begin with today's video tutorial. Boom! Great, so this is a fantastic setup by Gary Arts. I just saw it recently. It's tiled wide frame. It comes in a dark version and it just simply blew me away with the amount of effort and style that this screen portrays. As you can see, it's on a white Galaxy S3. So if, if, if any of you out there have a white phone, I think this looks simply fantastic on any white phone whatsoever. It just fits it almost as like it was designed for the phone itself. I actually just found this Galaxy S3 at a library and it had a stock setup and I was like, nope, I have to make this look fantastic. So I just went and themed it in about under five minutes. It's a simple beginner tutorial, so I'm sorry if it's not too technical for the guys out there, but I just wanted something that could make your guys' screens look fantastic with minimal effort. So if you have a close look at this brilliant wide frame theme, you've got everything that you basically need. You've got your time, your date, you've got your weather up there. You've got some cool things such as your notification button at the bottom that if tapped will open up your app drawer. You've got your notification drop down here that if tapped you will just bring down your notifications which I think looks really cool as well. And then topping it off it's got these buttons that arrange the side here. So you've got your um, notifications such as your phone, your mail, your as well as your messages and then scrolling across you've got your shortcuts such as your web, music and files that just by touching those will bring up your whatever browser or whatever else that you would want to open. So if you really enjoy this theme I highly recommend that you watch today's very simple video tutorial. Great, so we want to start off with a completely blank setup. If you've got any widgets or shortcuts, you just want to remove them just so you have a blank screen. So I'll be using Nova Launcher for the setup. You're welcome to use Apex Launcher, Holo Launcher, even SS Launcher if you can get it set up. So before you start off, just letting you know you're only going to be needing UCCW for the setup. It's going to be pure UCCW as well as Nova Launcher. So you're welcome to, like I said, use Apex Launcher as they got pretty much the same shortcuts such as pull down your notification draw etc so for now we're going to jump into our nova launcher settings so let's do that alrighty then so for the nova launcher setup we just want to simply hold down on the home screen we want to select the little range there to bring up our notification settings from here we want to go into our desktop and then simply into our desktop grid now a 9x7 is what Gary Arts recommends, however this is on a Galaxy S3, it's for that 720x1280 resolution. So if you have another phone such as a Nexus 4, um, then I'm not too sure what it would be, but I'm going to try and work it out on my Nexus 4 and let you guys know soon enough. So next we're going to be going scrolling down, home screens now, you're going to be wanting two. So you just let, select the little plus there and it'll add in an extra one or you can just hold and remove it if you want one less etc so next we're going to go back into our nova settings go back into our desktop next you also want to go into wallpaper scrolling and you want that to be on remember that otherwise it's not going to scroll at all and if you're having some trouble you might want to just reboot your phone switch into another launcher and your wallpaper scrolling should be on so just remember that and the other things you want to be definitely selecting is widget overlap overlap when placing and resize all widgets those definitely come in handy for one such as this where you will be resizing and overlapping different widgets and shortcuts so that's pretty much your nova launcher settings done remember just to be select deselecting show shadow and label icons as well so we're just going to go back your dock you don't want that at all you wanted that to be disabled so you just need to select that to be disabled remember that and so then if we're going to look and feel and we scroll down, we definitely want show notification bar to be disabled. So I'm just going to be selecting disabled, make that go away. So have no fear. If you, like I said, it's got that button at the top that you can just select in the corner there and it'll bring down your notification bar, which I really enjoy. It's quite unique and original and I really enjoy that little feature about it. So that is your Nova settings complete. It's a very easy setup to be done. So once that is ready, we can jump straight into the wallpaper. Let's do it. Awesome stuff. So for the wallpaper, very easy. You want to hold down on the home screen. You want to select wallpapers now and then go into your preferred app. I'm just going to be using gallery for this phone. All you want to do now is find where you've copied that wide frame onto your phone. 
Remember to check in the link in the description below as it comes with all you need such as your wallpaper as well as your UCCWs as well as a blank PNG which we have over here. So for this wallpaper I'm just going to select this one, the white one. Remember I said check in the link below for the alternate one, for the dark one, for all those AMOLED screens out there. And as you can see it takes up the entire picture. Remember we're not using multi picture live wallpaper, we're just using a static wallpaper which will lead to saving some battery. So for now it's going to take up the whole screen but like I said for other phone resolutions it might not work out too well especially the Nexus 4 but I will be working on that and try and making it a bit better. So like I said make it touch the entire size of it. If you're having some troubles you might want to stick with using Nova as it sets it up pretty well for a wallpaper and once you've got it the way you want it you want to select OK. It's going to set that wallpaper up for you and if you've done it correctly it should do the whole swipe left to right. Great so that is our wallpaper set up it looks really good so next we can be jumping into those UCCW skins let us do it right now. So next we want to be adding in those awesome looking UCCW skins very easy to do once again you just want to hold down on your home screen you want to be selecting widgets. Now you want to be scrolling all the way down to that amazing free app we like to call UCCW and any size really works as it doesn't really matter you'll be resizing it anyway so not to worry about that. Now what you want to be doing is selecting use up at the top and from here you want to be selecting let's go for number one. So remember you don't want to unzip them or whatever just leave them like they are. Remember that it must be copied onto your phone otherwise you won't be able to find them. So I'm going to just going to be importing wireless one for now. Remember if you select it and it brings up a white box to remove it and then go into UCCW and then select it from that list that was previously shown. So don't select use it and re-import to select from the list. Now as you can see it's been added we want to hold down on it and select resize. This is going to be the first one at the top of the screen so just remember that and it should all be well and good. There it is fitting pretty well. So that is our first one done very easy to do. Next you just want to be adding in the second one which makes sense because it's number two. So we're going to be doing the exact same thing. Any size we want to be going into back into the user. zip. Next we'll be selecting wireframe two. So going to select yes. Well already imported it. So now we just need to select the hand again and you just need to resize it again. Just more or less like that so that that weather looks pretty good. Also another note is that if your weather is not showing well at all if it's got CC or dashes or whatever is you want to go into UCCW app within your app drawer and to change your weather go into your UCCW settings and change your weather provider to one or the other and then it hopefully should clear up. So that's just a little note there. So now what we want to be doing is to add in the next one over at the bottom. So that'll be the, obviously the third one. So kind of makes sense. So you just want to go back into UCCW. Like I said, this is a very simple setup just to get you throughout the day with a good looking screen. So we're going to be importing this one again and just selecting it and it's going to be hold down resize. It's going to be looking a bit funky. That is because Gmail needs to be set up. So we want to make that just fit over that portion of the screen. We're going to select out now and we want to be editing it now. Next what you want to do is select that edit that skin as we want to be changing Gmail. We don't want to have that random account there. We want to be selecting our own. We want to select Gmail one from this button at the top. It's your select object list or select object button. If you select it, it'll bring up your various ones at the that you can choose from. If you have no idea how to use UCCW, check out our link below for a great set of tutorials that should help you out. So what we want to be doing is scrolling across to controls number five. We want to go into our account. You're going to select your preferred Gmail account. And once that's done, you want to go into your label and choose something like your inbox. Now, a lot of people have been complaining that even once doing that, it does not show up. And that I think is because of the new Gmail setup where they've got their, their different labels such as promotions as well as social as it's the new like desktop version. So what you do want to be doing is going into your Gmail settings and turning those labels off. Otherwise, UCCW can get quite confused. So just also keep that in mind. Once you've done that and set it up, we can just select back and it should set up everything for you. It looks really good. Now all you want to do is add in the fourth UCCW skin over here, which is going to just simply be, it's going to be blank. Remember that, don't get a fright if it's blank because it's just hotspots. So just keep that in mind. Now you can either choose to add it, but I, I kind of prefer just having an icon as a lot of people, including myself, don't really enjoy having 
um, touching a UCCW skin and seeing that blue block appear. So what we're going to be doing is now adding in our various shortcuts and let's jump right into it. So for the shortcut setup, we're going to be starting off with first our, our Nova settings or Nova actions. What will be the app draw as well as the notifications. Pull down menu there. So we want to be holding down on the home screen, going into our Nova settings. Now there's various ones you can add, but for the ones at the top, we want to say expand notifications and it comes up with this little icon here. We want to be dragging that into the top corner there and remember to have your widgets or your overlapping widgets enabled. Otherwise, it's not going to show up at all. Next, we want to do is hold down on it. We want to be selecting edits and we want to be selecting that icon where you can select your preferred gallery app to find your blank PNG. Now, it does come in the folder, which is really handy. So all what we want to be doing is selecting it. As you can see, it's got a wallpaper and the blank PNG, which is this black one. Have no fear, it's just simply transparent. We're gonna be selecting OK, selecting the tick, and now it has become blank. But do not worry though, once tapped, it's still gonna, it's gonna be blank, and tapping it will bring down your notifications, which I think looks really good. I really enjoy it about this screen. So you wanna be making a blank PNG for the app draw as well, as well as that one over there and your app draw there. Finally, what you wanna be doing is adding in your icons for your various shortcuts that'll be over here. So say you want to add in your web shortcut, you want to hold down on your home screen. From here, you want to be selecting apps this time around, not Nova Actions, as you just want to be adding in an app shortcut. So say you just want to add in a simple Chrome shortcut, you're just going to select it like that. And now you can place it wherever you want, preferably around that web section. Like I said, you're welcome to use that UCCW skin just to make it even on target, as well as even I'd probably say use Desktop Visualizer as you can probably get a much greater area without having a blue box surrounding it. Great, so like I said, there are two ways of adding in this icon or the, these shortcuts here. So the first way is just adding in that rather simple icon method where you do the exact same method for making it a blank PNG like we did for the app draw and for the notifications at the top. Next, you can also just, like I said, use desktop visualizer. In order to do that, you just simply hold down on the home screen, select widgets, from here, you want to be selecting a app or widget called Desktop Visualizer. And there it is over here. Any size will work for you as you can just hold down on it and then select resize just to get it in a good looking area. Yeah, something like that. So you want it to be for your music. We just select it up. It will open up the app. From here, we want to be selecting select an icon. We want to go into others. We want to be selecting none. That's going to have no icon. Pretty much a blank PNG. From here, we're going to be selecting an action. We want to say launch an application. Now you can choose whatever application you'd want to load. So for a music one, let's go down to say our music. So there's our music player. I'm just going to be selecting it. You can clear the label and you want to take off a touch effect if you prefer. I'm just going to take mine off. So just go like that and then select OK. So it's done exactly the same method as you were if you had to use a blank icon, but now selecting it will open up your music, which is really, really cool. So I really enjoy it about that. Great, and all you wanna be doing is adding in these group of these uh, wireframe one and two use ups to the second screen as well, just so it flows on from the first page. And finally, there we have our home screen complete. It looks fantastic, like I said, if you've got a black phone, I highly recommend going for the dark version, but on a white phone, I just really, really enjoy this whole setup. It looks fantastic. You've got our app draw at the bottom that if tapped will bring up your app draw quite quick and simple, as well as our drop down notifications at the top. Really, really cool. So there we have our home screen complete. You're welcome to add in hotspots if you prefer on your CCW skins. But as always, check in the link in the description below for some tips on that. So thank you very much for watching. This is Marco here from My Color Screen. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. It really means a lot to us, as well as check out our Facebook, Google+, Twitter community, and Instagram community. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Marco here from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing.